George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in a scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. An ape named ape, then away he'll schlep on his elephant Shep, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. It's a beautiful morning in the jungle as its inhabitants wait to face another day of fighting for their very survival. Hey, get off me! We had a deal, Bernard! Oh, oh! That's how it's gonna be! Fine! Is your spleen ticklish? Huh? <laughs> okay, Magnolia, get it together. You're living the dream. Nothing like the life of a jungle scientist. <laughs> nope. Nope. No. -uh. Two weeks in a row. Oh. <laughs> You can do this. You're tough. You're ready. You're a jungle scientist. You're Magnolia! Why? Why does everything here hate me so much? Oh. Mmm. <gasps> Thank you, Patrick. Ugly <laughs> <laughs> devil. Oh. We'd love to. Life good here. You said it, George. <laughs> Magnolia, please have nice time too. Bernard, <laughs> that's me. Are you okay, Magnolia? I don't belong here. No one belong in Snake. No, I mean you all belong in the jungle. I don't. I'm just a science geek in bad cargo shorts. Even the quicksand has it out for me. No, you part of jungle, just like us. Indeed. All you need is a little cheering up. What I need is to go back to my tent, have a cry, and write my resignation letter. Hey, right. We take you for super cheer up jungle fun trip. I really don't want to. Do it. How did you? Don't worry about that. We're here for fun. Cannonball! Wait! <laughs> that pond's full of piranha! <laughs> <laughs> it okay, Magnolia. Piranha good pals. See? We all jungle friends. Well, okay then. We forget they like foreign food. Mmm, oh. tasty lunch. Dig in, Magnolia. They're organic and free range. Have these ever been tested? I mean, how do you know if they're safe to eat? Mm. Oh, Georgie comes to tea with Tiny George. Mm. No problem. And we apes have enjoyed burger trees for generations. Okay. Mm. You guys are right! It's the little... How were you to know you were allergic? I should have guessed! Great! What's this? Some secret I'm not jungle enough to know? 
Yes! I mean, no! No, 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 no secret. We were just discussing what fun place to go next. Yes! Come now! Come! This is dumb. I should just go... <laughs> hey, wait! I've never been to this part of the jungle before. Hey! I, I don't know where I am! <laughs> oh, poop. Great! Just one more reason why I don't belong here. Even my so-called friends forgot about me. I'll go back to my tent and then back to the city. Which way is my tent? That way? Uh, uh oh, maybe through there. No, no, it, it's got to be past that tree. Huh. What's he looking at? And whatever it is, must be delicious. It's me, isn't it? I'm delicious. <laughs> okay, okay. I know we went south this morning, so my tent has to be north. Okay, Lucky Compass, don't fail me. No! no! North! North! How do I find North? And... You're a magnet! Ha! North! Ah! Why is my life so hard? There's got to be a way across. Use those degrees, Magnolia. If I pluck a feather from that bird, it'll squawk and wake up that snake, which will push over that rock, which will roll and knock over that tree, then domino those trees and make a bridge across the chasm. Yes! I knew Jungle Physics 202 wasn't a waste! Come on! It's not rocket science! <laughs> I get either, buddy, but it's the only way. Where's your spleen? Yes! Ha! Take that! What you gonna do now, pussycat, huh? Fly! <laughs> Just go log to log. You can do this. Oh my gosh, the teeth! How can I tell the logs from the crocodiles? Oh, I hate you, evolution! Uh, 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 aha! My piggies are so blistered, I bet I can feel the difference. Log, log, croc! Log, croc, croc, croc! Log, log! Because tigers never give up the hunt. They're jerks like that. Ape? You've been here the whole time, you fuzzy little... Ah! What? Oh. Oh. I get it. This is where I go nuts from being alone and starving in a cave for a month. <laughs> Maybe crazy only way survive. <laughs> Not stupid, smart! You smart to hide in here. Except you not notice jungle vending machine. That's kinda dumb. Magnolia smart about science and jungle. So use brain thinky thing one more time to beat Tiger. Me believe in you. What do you know? You're just a pile of <laughs> rotten coconuts. But maybe, maybe you're right. What kind of jungle scientist would I be if I let this jungle beat me? It's go time!
time, baby. you with a little celebration of your jungle anniversary. But you forgot me in the jungle! We just needed a little time to set up your surprise party. I was lost for six months! Yeah, we think that's strange too, especially since we only lose you over there. And left you a map, food, and an arrow pointing this way. But wow! You survive alone for six months? You as jungle as us for sure. <laughs> Let's put that to the test. But run! <laughs> George may be king of the jungle. But he's definitely not king of ideas. What's wrong, George? Uh, George needs stop Jerk Eagle from eating cute meerkats. Every time George turn away, Eagle... Hey, Jerk Eagle! What George do to save meerkats? Remember when those jungle pigeons wouldn't stay off my tent? I made a scarecrow to keep them away. If anything, more pigeons came to laugh at it. So whatever you do, don't do... Hey! George C. <laughs> oh, you didn't hear what I said. Good idea, Magnolia. <laughs> George not know how you do it. Is that how you see me? Ursula, George need help. How George get baby Lever across river and home to family? Duh, use canoe. Or raft! Or bridge! Ah! <laughs> Good idea, Ursula. Um, which one? Thank you, Ursula! Oh. Uh, hello? What George do now? George, you can't rely on other people for ideas. You need to come up with them yourself. Ah. Huh? George, an antelope is stranded on that high ledge. <gasps> Antelope in danger! Indeed! Quick, what do you do? Um, uh, George ask Ape for idea. But I've been eaten by a crocodile. What? <laughs> George cry because he missed Ape. But the antelope still needs your help. George. Yes? Ask Ursula. Oh, you can't. She's... Return to her home planet. <laughs> George's world collapsed. What if there's no one to ask? What if you have to come up with an idea by yourself? <laughs> now you never leave George, and he always has someone to ask what to do. George, you're missing the point. <laughs> Ursula Matt, take it out on Magnolia! What? Why? Why? Ah! George wanna help Magnolia, but George lousy at ideas. Apparently so, though I've never noticed it in any other episode. Hmm. <gasps> what a coincidence! This is an idea rock. If you find yourself wondering what to do, just ask it for ideas. Oh. Idea rock have name? Um, sure. It's Presley. Okay. Hey, Presley, what George do? Ooh, Presley's smart. He say, whoa. <laughs> yes, that's a good idea. I'll do that. Um, Ape okay? Ape's fine. He just has a bunch of to-dos. To-do. Ape! Um, what ape doing? 
Maybe George help? Doing? I'm not doing anything. With that, Presley? Yep. Ape definitely doing something. Relax, George. Slow down. Grab a tree and dangle. Yeah. You should hang upside down for a while. It's so amazing. Magnolia, why you hate Treehouse too? We no hate Treehouse. We no hate anything. Ursula, you no angry. Ursula never angry, see? Big smile, yay! No thanks, Presley, me not thirsty. George need to get to bottom of strange mystery. George said he not thirsty. Fine, you very pushy for rock. Ape! Invisible sloth on shoulder! Look through glassy backwash! Mmm, thank you, God. Delicious. See you later. We have to bounce. What George do? Presley, George needs save friends idea real bad. Okay, if Presley insist. <laughs> there they go with invisible shoulder slots. What they building? Ooh, that good question too, Presley. Holy rock bananas! <laughs> Excellent, my sloth chums. Soon we shall dominate this planet like we dominate afternoon naps. Okay, Presley. George hazy on details, but bit about Earth domination sound bad. What? Where? George, stop evil sloth! But how? Are uh, you sure, Presley? Okay, if you say so. Whoa! Yeah, <laughs> great idea, Presley! <laughs> uh, oh, man! Where's my dynamite? Where to go? George, never tell. Oh, no! Now you've done it! We're doomed! Game over, man! That's right! George and Presley save Earth from evil slobs! Now, man, when I say we're doomed, I mean you and me, not them. I was trying to stop all this. Uh, George and Presley no understand. You do flashback? <sighs> Fine. My name is Slothocles. And like all sloths, I'm not from your world. We sloths come from another slower dimension, man. I arrived here many years ago with a sloth scout team. We were sent to discover your weaknesses, but instead fell in love with your world. Specifically, your fudge. This is the only dimension that contains the glory that is fudge, man. Instead of completing our mission, we decided to make Earth our new home. I hope the rest of our evil race would forget about us. But that was not meant to be. My people have enslaved your friends with their sloth powers of suggestion. Wait, how come evil sloth's invisible and you not? We sloths use an advanced mind-phasing technique to turn invisible at will. But I'm too lazy. Oh, and it's easily neutralized by backwash. This is also the only dimension with backwash technology, man. Um, George, could I borrow those goggles? It'll just make things easier for everyone. Sure thing, Sky Voice. Much better. That's a time break. When it's yanked, it'll slow time to match the sloth dimension. Then sloths will be the fastest things on this planet, man. When the sloth army comes through the portal, we'll subdue this world in the blink of an eye. I was gonna blow that thing sky high, but someone ate my explosives. Presley, how to save everyone? George, need idea, quick. Hmm, uh-huh. Oh yeah, oh I see, okay. Sure hope it worked. Good luck. George really hoping that do it. Yes! Get him, get Go him, George! get him. <laughs> Presley, what plan B? George, watch out for the sloth! I am the sloth commander. 
but you may call me Peanut. Listen and do my bidding, ape man. You are powerless to resist. Whatever Peanut say, George do. <sighs> there goes the neighborhood, man. The whole dimension, really. Who better to pull the time break than the king of the jungle? This planet is ours. No. No. George, make own idea. That's likely. You failed at it this entire episode. Yes! What? Uh, wind blow you off! You have to go into hyperspeed to knock me loose. Look out! Uh, huh? George, free! Get, Get him! him. Get him. Must stop him! Get him! Must stop if slots want time to slow down, maybe better idea <gasps> to speed up. Uh, where did all these slots come from? No, my invasion. Cheer up! Have some fudge! Mmm, this is really good. I know, right? Now get lost! No! I want more fudge! George, you single-handedly saved us from sloth domination. I knew you had good ideas. Ah, uh, George not do much. Sloth McLees and Presley have all good ideas. All I did was ask you to stop him. And Presley is just a stone. I only pretended it was an idea rock to boost your confidence. George learned an important lesson today. He learned... Uh, oh, hold on. Uh, George, get it. Um, uh, water wet? No, George learned that yesterday. Um, ooh, fire hot. Oh, no. Maybe I should find a planet where I'm more appreciated. Of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in a scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. An ape named Ape, then away he will schlep on his elephant, Shep, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. Desperate figures run for their lives, carrying with them the jungle's final and only hope. <laughs> How did it come to this? No, seriously, I'd like to know. Can can we do a flashback or something? <laughs> Sweet, thanks. Oh, potato fizzy legs. Got it. Just one more. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty bacon hairbrush. That's enough for the day. We'll finish my jungle taste report tomorrow. Oh, all licking and no eating make George hungry. Me too. Hmm. What to eat, what to eat, what to eat. Mystery berries. <laughs> Meh, had for breakfast. Squash and beans? Had for lunch. Wounded zebra. Patrick, good friend. <laughs> Hey, what's that convenient noise? What's the big deal? It's just a dumb banana tree. Ha! Forgive them! Don't you know how important bananas are to all ape kind? This film will show you the delicious world of bananas. Warning, you will get wet. From your own drool. <laughs> Seriously, though, pay attention. Bananas, our most precious resource and our yummiest friend. Bananas. Like apes, no two bananas are the same. 
bananas were first discovered at the sacred banana mating ground. Let's explore the three reasons we must protect these wonderful yellow mouth ticklers. Reason one, bananas are delicious. Eat them for breakfast, lunch, dinner, midnight snack, brunch, 11 Z's, tea time, supper, dejeuner, hypoglycemic snacks, regular snacks, post-snack snack snacks, pre-dinner, post-lunch, pre-snack snack, post-lunch, the second reason bananas are our most precious resource, they're not just for eating. You can use bananas as antiperspirant. Distress beacons. Loyal and fun pets. Nothing says I love you like a banana. And the third reason bananas are so important, they're just so darn banana-y. <laughs> Every time. He never knew. That banana's so amazing. It's bananas! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Glad you finally understand what bananas mean to us apes. <laughs> Maybe we should try it with more bananas. Hmm. I call it the thought doer. Know what George thought doing right now? <laughs> You're taking things a little far. Wasting them now. Bananas can run out, you know. Ape, I'm a scientist. Natural resources can't run out. It's impossible. Uh, uh, what happened? I think we ate too many bananas. <gasps> Just bones left. <sighs> <gasps> What have you done? You used up all the bananas? All except for two? Oh, man, did we? But no biggie. There's other stuff to eat. You don't understand. <laughs> it begins. Bananium found in every banana are ancient monster genes. Take control. Just slowly and quietly. Run! There's only one solution. You must. Oh no. Uh, it's okay. Run. Run for your lives. <laughs> must fix ape and save jungle. But there's only two bananas left. Okay, think, think, think. What do we do? Hmm. Yes? How ants remember all other ants' names? Whoa, George would be terrible at. Uh, wait, what question? Okay, okay. Is there another source of bananium? Hmm, maybe oranges? Those are full of orangium. Uh, it's totally different. What if we disguise the bananas as us and us as the bananas? Yes, then apes chase bananas and eat us instead. It's not gonna work. If we get more bananas, apes turn all huggable and not be bitey anymore. But how? Do I look like a banana magician? Like I do banana magic? Ooh, abracadabra. Spell no work. You terrible banana magician. I've got it. We'll use science to save the bananas from extinction and rescue Abe in the jungle to the sacred banana mating ground. <laughs> <laughs> 
And so, George and Magnolia carry the jungle's last chance for survival to the sacred banana mating ground. George. Okay, bananas, make banana babies. Go! Try moving them closer. Duh, of course. We can't do it if we watch. <laughs> Double duh, this will never work unless we set the mood. Much better. Wait, George, forget something. In case Santa hungry after deliver banana babies. George, Santa doesn't ex um doesn't love anything more than cookies. Hurry, make more nanas. You two want to play hardball? <laughs> we can play hardball. Fire, George! Lightning always makes stuff work. <laughs> Roasty bananas. George, hold off eight monsters. Magnolia save bananas, okay? Hmm. George need to look good for final sacrifice. What are you doing? Uh, uh. Ah! This is all because we wasted precious natural resources! Me sorry, eat too many bananas! <laughs> and now you've learned your lesson. Oh, oh wait. Uh, uh, hold on, I've got this. Uh, right, lesson learned. What? Apes not monster? <laughs> Get out! You pretended you were killer apes to prove a point? Did you really think we'd let you eat all our bananas? We saw you were getting greedy. So we held an emergency meeting to figure out what to do. We came up with a few schemes to stop you. Some thought we should cut you off immediately. But then we had a better idea. We implemented Operation Save All the Delicious Yummy Bananas from the Bad Bad People so we can eat them ourselves. Apes are terrible with code names. So you tore up an entire jungle to make a point about preserving part of the jungle? Sure, it sounds bad when you say it that way, but we had to be convincing. They were eating all our bananas. Come on, our bananas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, we learned our lesson, but you were the real monsters here. Come on, George, let's go. There's a whole jungle of things still to taste. George no want taste yucky jungle things. George stay here and... Lick this slug. <laughs> <laughs> mm. What? It's a good idea. Nature. It's soothing, beautiful, even smells pretty nice. But beneath all that fancy business, there's power. A thunderous waterfall can wear down solid rock. Powerful winds can bend the mightiest trees. The fury of lava can scorch the landscape and heat water so ducks can have a nice warm bath. Did I mention the wind? What I'm trying to say is, nothing can stop nature. Something stopping nature! That's overly dramatic, but also correct. Big Little River is down to a trickle. It's an ecological disaster. George, fix! Clear liquid plug up river! That's the water, George. <laughs> no time for jokes, ape. 
George. Let me explain. River made of water? Same as lakes? Yes, and rain, and ice, even snow. They're all water. Stop! They make George dizzy. I think we found the problem. <gasps> Those guys make log house. Help stop water! Mystery solved! New mystery. Who are those guys? They're beavers. They're an invasive species. What? An invasive species is an animal that doesn't belong here. It all starts way up here in Canada, where, otherwise known as Castor Canadensis, beavers are not normally found in tropical climates, responsible for the invention of the telephone and the handheld blender. Beavers are nothing if not inventive. And that's where we get artificial strawberry flavor from. So you have to get rid of them before they ruin the jungle forever. Hey. George Wick totally listened to science talk. Get rid of beavers right now. Oh! Me, George, king of jungle. You beavers have king, queen, maybe super beaver? What are you, squirrels? Get back to work! Name's three, two. Huh? Beavers got two teeth that stick out. Okay. I got three. So that's my name. And why I'm in charge. Oh. It's a system. What do you want? George, welcome you to jungle. Now leave jungle. Log house, stop river. Make big puddle on other side. Flood monkey baseball field. Beavers must go. No belonging jungle. Not natural. <laughs> Not natural? Take a look at the mirror, bub. You're human. You don't belong in the jungle, neither. George, human? Reality can take many forms. A sunbeam, a bolt of lightning, or a giant hammer that clobbers you in the jaw. That's just a metaphor, of course. What did you think you were? George, think he was a George. Kind of like a sloth, lemur, banana thing. And one day, Lady George show up. And George and Lady George make baby George. Then we all return to home planet. You know what's funny? Until this very moment, I thought I knew what crazy was. Ape, no, George, human? Well, of course I did. And you kept it a secret? It wasn't a secret. He has thumbs and everything. <laughs> After I found you in the orphan storm, we knew right away that you were human and that your diver smelled really bad. At first, you tried to be an ape. That didn't work out. Neither did being a bird. But soon you found your own identity and became king of the jungle. <laughs> And the jungle needs its king to stop those beavers. But George, human now. If beavers no belong in jungle, neither does human George. Ha! Are you kidding? We humans go wherever we want, do whatever we want, take whatever we want. We rule the planet, see? What you gonna do, huh? Cry? Cry like a big sad crying ape, huh? Huh? Stop! Stop, stop it! I'll put you in the circus. <laughs> Leave me alone. Magnolia's annoying, but also right. You just need to discover what it means to be human. Then you'll understand why you belong here as king of the jungle. But how George learned to be human, ape? How? If only we knew a human who could teach you. Hmm? Forget it. I'm not. Now, you two, be human. Okay, first thing you gotta learn, George, is that we humans are crazy smart. We think. Animals just do stuff or whatever. See? I'd never do that, cause I use my brain. Ah, here's a perfect example. I'm thinking what that crocodile could want. Hmm. Fum. It probably just wants a kiss or something, so I think it's harmless. Ta-da! Uh, and we humans are never wrong. Ah, I'm wrong! I'm so wrong! Help me, George! Ah! Thanks for that. You throw a good crocodile. The witch doctor is human. At least I think he is. Maybe he can help. Pressure! Buggy buggy boo! Buggy buggy boo! 
big old shark that's blue. I have banished the evil shark from your lawn. Ahem. Mm -mm. Elephants make the best BLTs in the jungle. Witch doctor! Look out! <laughs> Dark monkey fit? What? Let Abernathy go. <laughs> yeah, well, next time, don't miss your cue. Oh, phew. Hey, elephants! It's okay! No shark! Just big monkey! I tricked them. But why humans trick animals? Duh, for a bag of sandwiches. <laughs> Wait! George not learning up yet! <sighs> you did the right thing, George. Cheer up! Look! I'm the shark monkey! Wait, I'm not. It's a hat! It's just a hat! Ah! There's only one more human who might be able to help. Ah! Hey, George scared. Desperate times call for desperate... Ah! Wait, we need your help. George not know how to be human. Ah! Ursula teach George? <laughs> Only one thing you need to know. This was a terrible idea. Ah! Hey? Being human mean being scary. All animal afraid of Ursula. Ape! Wake up, Ape! Ape! Good. Now Ursula can scare him again later. <laughs> I saw the other side. Okay. If George have to be human, then human have George to be. What? <laughs> This is beaver country now. Hey, beaver teeth! George, know himself now! Beaver's in big human trouble! Oh, really? And what are you gonna do, human? George, use human thinky brain! <laughs> I ain't got all day, bub! Huh? Okay. Then George, use human tricky trick! Look! Big monster behind you! Mm, nah. Fine. Then George, use human scary face. Use your what? <laughs> like I said before, humans don't belong in the jungle. And you are one terrible human. Beaver right. George, no good at thinking. No good being tricky. No good being scary. George, bad human. You saved Magnolia, stopped the witch doctor from lying, and brought me back from the afterlife. You may be a terrible human, but you're a great George, and this is where you belong. <laughs> Don't feel bad you're lost. We chew down trees and build awesome stuff. It's our thing. Chew trees? Yeah, <laughs> those logs. Buddy, logs are trees. Logs are trees? George bash into trees all the time! Human George can't get rid of beavers, but George George can bash down log tree piles! How? There aren't any trees left to swing from. There be one! The tallest tree of all! Tree known to ages as Tim. What's he doing? He's being himself. He's being George. Which one of you jokers left the tallest tree in the jungle? Huh? Ah, figures. that his nature was not a human nature. It was his own. Talky Sky Boy's right. George lousy human. But George, good George. And all it took was the jungle to be clear cut and flooded. Maybe you wrecked a dam, but you made an enemy. 
An enemy with three teeth! You can be George Enemy! You can be whatever you want! George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in his crate, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. And ain't, 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 then away he'll schlep on his elephant chef, Magnolia and Ursula stay in step. George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. It's time to get dressed! Orangu <laughs> pants activated! With these pants, I'll have the strength of 1,000 orangutans in trouser form! Let's see those jungle bullies push my buttons now. <laughs> Back off, six legs. That's my egg salad. <laughs> you cheated. No going over the top. <laughs> I like eating sand, huh? <laughs> Do I ever? <laughs> Yummy! Oh. <laughs> Time to give Mother Nature a spanking. <sighs> oh, hi. Don't mind me, just doing science. You know, underwaterology stuff. That wasn't me. Ah! Oh! Who's a wimp now? <laughs> Bring it on, horn face! <laughs> Strike! <laughs> you. How do you like eating stuff that isn't food, huh? <laughs> Fuzzy little bombs! Boo hoo hoo! Wow, we is there anything your orangu pants can't do? No, they do it all. Now you're in for it. From who? George? Oh, he's strong, all right. But is he orangu strong? I think not. <laughs> Just walk. He could have been here an hour ago. I don't know, okay? I don't know! Hey, fat doctor! Stop beating up animals! Well, thank you for finally showing up! It's not like I had important stuff to do today or anything! <laughs> Time to crank it! <laughs> Impossible! No one's that wrong! Cuspid! Ew! Those are the same underwear you wore yesterday! What? No, they're... How do you know that? Wow, that only took forever! I... But I guess that's what happens when you hit every tree in the jungle. Admit it, George. You have a tree problem. But George always hit trees. I'm ranting here. George, you need help. Science help! According to my calculations, George spends over 12 hours a day about to hit a tree, hitting a tree, or hitting a tree again. It hasn't stopped him from being a good king. Not knowing basic math didn't stop me from being a scientist either. But it doesn't mean it was right. You don't know basic. Trust me, George. I make you better king. But first, we need some science data. Okay, George, swing over here. Uh... <laughs> 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 
I can't stop watching. I know. It's so hypnotizing. The way his face just stretches. Help us. Help, George. Hello? Waza. It's our, uh, you know, data and stuff. We need more data. Just after we watch this. Again. If I learned anything at online university, it's that you can't do science without a laser or two. Yes, but some lasers are extremely dangerous. You do know there's different kinds, right? Of course I do. There's red lasers and there's blue lasers. This is a red one, so it's completely safe, scaredy cat. It'll scan George as he swings and makes all sorts of charty graphs. Okay, George, go! Uh -huh. George, fine! Okay, George, there's absolutely no trees to hit here, so just swing across the clearing. You gotta be! George radiates something I like to call the Magnolia's Arbor Effect. He can't help but swing into trees. It's like he's a wood magnet. Trees always love George, ever since George was little. George was very popular when George was young. <laughs> Why George wrapped in tinfoil? You're like a balloon that never lost its static electricity. And as every scientist knows, the only way to get rid of electricity is with more electricity. Is George happy the way George is? George loved tree kisses! Pish posh poosh, a few hundred gigawatts and you'll never hit a tree again. I have to agree with George. If he prefers to remain as he is, you must respect that. Um, hello? You tried to brainwash him only five episodes ago? <laughs> Antitop. Antitop. Antitop! Uh -huh. Touché. <laughs> yes! I was foolish to think orangutans would be enough to stop George. Have you seen him recently? He's totally jacked! I need to find some new combination of animal and clothing. Something fabricticians have only dreamt about. Cuspid, fetch my finest cyber yarn! George, it's okay. The lightning's gone. Come on out. Come on. George, feel <laughs> different. A billion volts will do that. Let's see if it worked. Go on. Swing! Ah, no hit tree! George never no hit tree! It's okay, George. It's okay. It's better than okay! It's great! I'm the smartest wow. one! George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch him pass those trees. Doesn't quite have the same ring. George miss his tree kisses. Scamper away! <laughs> hey, stop fighting animals, Doctor! First, how'd you get here so quickly? Second, who cares? Because I'm sporting my new gorilla sweater! George, teach you lesson! Oh, really? And what would that be? Grammar? Personal hygiene? You're not qualified to teach! <laughs> this is too easy! <laughs> it's like you're not even trying! In fact, I don't even need my gorilla sweater! George, no understand! <laughs> that went better than expected. Now, where were you? And for my discovery of the Magnolia's Arbor effect, I feel a Nobel Prize would be... Ow! Oh, man, that... George? What happened? You happened. Somehow you made George as weak as a very weak kitten. George must go back. Stop, doctor. Okay, okay. I'll do some science and figure out what's wrong. It's because he's not hitting trees. <laughs> this is ridiculous. There's no way hitting trees made George strong. It's the only thing we haven't tried. Now swing! <laughs> Did 
Tom. Face tree no making muscle. <laughs> Magnolia been working out? No, but I figured out what happened to your strength. No mere researcher does that to a PhD. Uh, it's uh, tree vitamins, George. They get slammed into your cells every time you hit a tree. Magnolia's right. George's near constant dose of exotic tree vitamins gives him strength far exceeding your average ape man. Swing, George. Swing and hit as many trees as you can. George can do that. George, miss. Just hit a tree! Oh, George can't! For oh, the love of! Hurry! My tree vitamins are wearing off! Hit harder than it looks! Why is it so hard to hit a gap? George, hit tree soon! <laughs> uh, hey! Stop! That's weird! <laughs> Jungle love George again! Uh, 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 I just got this sweater, and the first thing you do is rub greasy jungle man all over it? That'll never come out! George thinks sweater ugly! <laughs> Tree kisses do make George strong! Good. I'm glad. I had to hit a lot of trees to figure that out. Am I missing any teeth? Um... Oh, no, no, uh, you fine. The Jungle, a typical Tuesday. Today is different. Today, the jungle gets a special treat. Yes, the legendary Blue Crooner. Her voice calms the savage beast. Tames the surliest volcano. She even does experimental jazz. Yeah, I don't get it. But that's a story for another time. Oh, let's sit up front. You are king. George? Uh, better view at back. But it's the blue crooner. I need to hear every exquisite note. Can you see the stage? I can't see the stage. George, we should move closer. Nope. George good right here. <gasps> it's starting! <laughs> What's with this vibe? <gasps> uh, George? Now, Tiger? Not yet. Patience is the hunter's best quality, Weevil. After a loyal mustache. Watch out, jungle. It's Tiger Titheridge and Weevil Plumtree. There are hunters, and then there's Tiger. His collection of trophies extends farther than our animators can draw. Tiger's the greatest hunter the world has ever seen. Weevil is working on it. Batman hunters! Activate the monkey warning system. Hey, monkey! My word! George Staff Hunters! George, wait! They're after the Blue Pruna! Yank that vine, man! Pruna, look out! Are you okay, madame? Yes, yes, quite fine. But that voice. It sounded familiar. Mean up familiar, Mia Tito. Tito? Blast! Grab Bertie! Talk about Tito later! Oh no, we lost her. Weevil, my feeble friend, this hunt has only just begun. That hunter's still behind us? <laughs> I'm sure I know you. No, no, me Toti. I thought it was Tito. Where? Me no see Tito in ages. I'm positive we've met before. No. Ah. <laughs> You'll be safe here. Oh, this is George's home. You know him? How? Oh, if no one hears that. 
told story? Yes, Abe does. I mean, yes, I do. Back when George was just a wee boy, I taught him to sing. He was the best student I ever trained. You see, every singer has a true voice, one that comes from their very soul. And we were close to finding George's inner music. Yes, George, yes, you're almost there. Bravo, bravo, George. But this is just a step on the path to finding your song, George's song. But one day, George stopped coming to lessons and answering the phone and his mail and the doorbell. That's not how George remembers it. <gasps> George? George, stop, because animals laugh at George. They all laugh at George. <laughs> I can't believe I was fooled by your feeble disguise. It's not your fault. It's a cartoon thing. Otherwise, we'd also notice that sawing sound. What sawing sound? Exactly. <laughs> Hello, feathers. Sweet dreams one, sweet dreams two. Blue crooner! <laughs> I'll never sing for a monster like you! I don't want you to sing. I want me to sing. Oh, my! He's full of jerky! So much jerky! They say the Blue Crooner's voice is hypnotic. Let's find out how hypnotic. I don't know how long we were out, but... Wait! Do you hear that? George, hear nothing. That's what I'm worried about. Hello? 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 And no one pick up coconut. George, it's the crooner! George, hear... Pretty sound. George, it's hypnotizing. Earplugs tickle. It's coming from this way. Hey, let animals go, bad hunters. Where's the blue crooner? She's in my throat. You eat crooner? Help me, George! Don't be a dunderhead. I'd never eat as useful a bird as her. <gasps> Your siren song has no effect on us. We stick buds in our ears. Very clever. But are your insect earplugs wearing earplugs? <gasps> Ooh, that's smart. You'll make my best trophies yet. <gasps> See what you got. First, me warm up. Do re mi fa so. La la li 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 lulu. Mi ma 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 mo mu. Do re mi fa so. La 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 li li lulu. Black block. Come on, man. Ready now. <gasps> yeah. Now that's a challenge! George! You're doing it!
ridiculous. No king should sound like that. George, don't listen to him. Don't listen to anyone. Reach down. Sing the song that is deepest within you. Sing George's song. <clears throat> now it's been a nice intermission, but it's time for the grand finale. <laughs> You back for more? George reached down deep to the core of his soul and unleashed George's song. George's song, and there's no need to ever, ever sing it again. Uh -huh. But me not finished yet. Time for encore. No, that's really not. <laughs> 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 